Yes. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about Shirdi Sai Baba, where he was born, how he came to Shirdi? And where did he go after that? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened? And, and where is he now? Yes. And, and suppose we see him in your form, are we to believe that is a, is it a hallucination or is it truth? So to verify and test that, you bring one of you here and sit here and see if you can see the same form in him. If you cannot, then what you have seen in me is true and what you have seen in the other fellow is true because you have not seen Shirdi Sai Baba. That is a way of validating the thing, right? So, these people are universal people, they can never die. If you say of them, they are dead, they are born somewhere else, and they appear just out of... They'll just do something and go and come. This is not bound by the space-time continuum. And they are known as the sages of the fire mist. These some people like Shirdi Baba and Hanumanji, and these people, they are the sages of the fire mist. And they are the great ones. And what can we say of them? <coughs> yes. Yes. Babaji, is that what Chiranjeevi means? Yes. Means Chiranjeev means eternal, everlasting, conquered death. And they are the ones who can say, Oh grave, oh grave. Where is thy sting, O death? Where is thy victory? They challenge the grave and they challenge their own death. That's what I want you to do. Challenge your own grave and challenge your own death. Get out of here. He says, Sir, I brought you the last cup of tea. Or death will come to you and say, Sir, keep the last dance for me. And then you say, I can't keep the last dance for you. That's that famous classic of your American song. When it says, I'm come now, your time is over, you can tell me, you can come and take what you want. And then he comes and he says, there is nothing to take. There is no form, there is no name, there is no fame, there is no desire. There is only the immortality of God and Him I cannot touch. So I myself will merge into you and let us both experience a state of enlightenment. So life and death get married and the result is enlightenment. Prose poetry, prose poetry. <laughs> because you're such important people, I can't speak to you in ordinary language or prose or something. I must make it beautiful, I must make it poetic. Am I right? right. Such is your importance because the God is within you. So it's God sitting here speaking to God. Only one is an awakened God. The people in the front are sleeping gods. And therefore I say, Awake! O sleeping image of God, Awake! Akala Mrityo yeah.